Have you ever questioned yourself why your resolutions don't work? And then at the end of the year, you feel yourself feeling disappointed and you don't even want to try because maybe your subconscious mind doesn't understand what you want and doesn't give you what you want. Let's get into it. How to make the intentions for the next year and resolutions for the next year so that they work. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are talking about resolutions and intentions. I put them back together because I feel uh, and I know based on what I work with my clients that very often people say, um, oh, I've made, I make so many plans. I make so many resolutions and intentions, but at the end of the year, I find myself not fulfilling even half of them or sometimes none. And I feel so disappointed. I feel the, the guilt, the shame, and I just discourage. I'm just discouraged, so I don't even try next year. Or sometimes people who are like warriors, you know, they feel like, oh, I'm just gonna work harder, I'm just gonna try harder. And so they make even bigger, even more resolutions to find themselves disappointed and discouraged at the end of the year when they open their list or when they do their self-reflection at the end of the year. And it's not that you're doing something wrong, it's that because you don't know yet why they don't work. Maybe you don't have the information yet how your subconscious mind operates. And I'm going to tell you how to make your intentions and resolutions um, so that you actually feel like, oh, this is, this is doable. So the first step you need to do when you do your resolutions to actually assess your resources. For example, if you say, I want to make five million dollars a year next year but you only make fifty thousand dollars a year this year uh, you need to be realistic about the resources you have do you have the knowledge do you have the skill what do you need to do is it possible of course but will it be possible if you just keep doing what you're doing now probably not so you assess your resources and feel, okay, if I'm setting that intention for the next year or I'm setting that goal, do I have the training? Do I have the knowledge? Do I have the understanding? Uh, very often people um, make intention or make a goal. They say, I want to lose weight. I want to lose 50 pounds next year. I'm going to work hard. I'm going to work out. I'm going to make a plan. I'm going to take the consultation from the nutritionist. I'm going to do all that work without getting to know why you gained weight in the first place. So finding out why you ended up being in a situation right now that you don't like. That will make your goals so much more attainable if you find out why you are not able to do that before. So the limiting beliefs, the programming, the, um, the blocks that are holding you back, all of that you resolve, So and it's much more easier to set the goals for the next year. Step number two, your subconscious mind that doesn't understand words. I will, I'm trying to, I'm going to, my plan is to. I will work hard towards something. So if you set the, the intention that has all of these words, the subconscious mind doesn't understand that. It gets confused, so it cancels that desire. So it doesn't, you don't create that in your reality, and it doesn't happen. And then the frustration kicks in. Uh, what you need to do is always set the intention in the present tense like you are already having. It. For example, if you want to lose weight, you write down, um, I am, my weight is 120 pounds or 140 pounds, whatever it is you want. My weight is 120 pounds now, even though you know it's not true yet. However, you're creating that reality. So not I'm trying, I'm going to, I I'm going to work hard towards losing weight. No, I am. Uh, my weight is, this is what I want. 
Um, another example. I am making $50,000 more next year. I am already making it. So you're making it. So subconscious mind will understand only the present tense, only like you're having it. This is why limiting belief like, oh, I, I'm stupid or I'm not enough or it's not available to me. Um, I, I'm not, I'm not having it. Something is wrong with me. It's all in the present tense. You see, that's why subconscious mind responds to these limiting beliefs so much, giving us challenges, events, experiences, behaviors, reactions, and even physical symptoms. So that's the next step number two. You do it in the present tense, like you're having it right now. Step number three. A lot of people, uh, they uh, do visualization. So they visualize what they want, the goal. For example, working remotely, um, living on a, on a, in a villa somewhere, um, having the skill that will create a financial freedom for you. Maybe it's finding the partner, the understanding, loving partner. Whatever it is, they start to visualize, but they don't connect to the feeling that they have at that moment. So they kind of create the picture, like, oh yes, and this, and this, and this. But at the same time, they're not connecting to that, to the feelings that they have. So when you visualize, it's a number, step number three. Once you set the intention, for example, I'm healthy or I am, I weighed this and this and this. I am, I'm achieving or I'm, I'm working at a beautiful workplace. Whatever it is, you start to visualize it. And when you visualize it, you start to connect to the feelings you have at that moment. So it's not about, it is about creating the, the image but it intensifies when you put the emotion into it. Also, this visualization, you also visualize uh, the end result of it, right? So that's very, very important. You kind of visualize like you already have it, how you feel, how you behave, how you react. It's probably completely different from what you do right now, very different. Step number four is enjoying the process. And that's the big one. I would say this is one of the most challenging one because this is coming from within. And you don't have to just follow the rule or some practices that uh, people advise or people give you. Like, for example, I'm giving you the advice of how to set the intention. But it's also very important that you are enjoying the process of getting to that goal. If you are not enjoying the process of getting to your goal, then probably it's going either to be fulfilled without you feeling actually happy or maybe even feeling exhausted, or you will, or that goal will never be fulfilled because you need to enjoy the process of getting towards what you want. So, which basically means you find the joy in every single moment right now. This is important because very often we all think that we are going to be happy when we weight 120 pounds or we are, we have that relationship that we want. So I'm going to be happy when I have that. But you will hear that from so many people. And I'm just one of those people, people who will tell you that that's not true. If you cannot feel happy right now, it's probably that you won't feel happy when you get it. And I know that your ego probably <laughs> will not agree, or maybe maybe you do resonate with this. And you've noticed that in your life there were that you you had these experiences when you actually like wanted something so much that when you have it, you have only the excitement for a little bit, and then you're like, oh, still not enough. So find the joy and find fun in every single process that gets you to what you want, and of course repetition repeating yourself what you want without the word want like you're having it right now visualizing it with the feelings and emotions it will help you get to where you want to be next year and even the years before assessing your resources so i hope that this will help you to set your intentions for the next year in the best the most beneficial way also your intention 
needs to not only satisfy you, but they have to be beneficial for this planet. Remember, the universe will meet you, will meet you halfway all the time if that goal is beneficial for you and for everyone around you. So please choose wisely for yourself. Choose wisely for your loved ones and your life will be so much better. But it is even now, you, it is a journey. So always remember, no matter how you feel now, it's always a journey of growing, of finding out, of learning something. So set your intentions. Be happy. I wish you all the best in the next year. Fulfill all of your goals and dreams. And find happiness right now and right here so that it will follow you throughout the whole process. I love you all. If you need, if you want more information, please watch all of my videos. You know, I have so much value on this channel. Follow me on Instagram. I'm very active there. I always do lives. I always interact with uh, my followers. So if you need help with actually finding the happiness, feeling grounded and centered every single day, you can also ch we can chat more. And you can experience RTT hypnotherapy that I'm practicing and find that joy, that inner peace right now so that all your life evolves in the most, in the best way. So love you all. Be healthy emotionally and physically. Bye.